Okay, wait, I need to prepare myself. Okay. I broke my agape movement script. Yay! Okay, like, what? What are you? So yeah, it takes a bit longer now, but that's okay because I like the challenge. This should be a lot more accurate. Yes, that feels so much better. That feels a lot better. Yes, it's actually hitting them well. To show people obsidian, obsidian whenever I uh, use it because it's so nice. Uh, these tags basically come here. I have some tags that I use, like for instance, stream summary. It shows me the the notes that I had the stream summary. Obviously, that's today's note. And if we look at the remote view, when I when this dialogic thing comes up, it creates this canvas object, which has a dialogic node. Unless this, is, unless I don't do this, oh my god, maybe that's the reason why I will punch myself in the face if that's the reason why. It's gonna crash. <gasps> yes, oh my god, that's the reason why. Okay, I said I would punch. <laughs> okay, wait, I need to prepare myself, okay. <laughs> Ow. The moment of truth. This is the moment of truce. This is the moment of truce. This is the moment of truce. And this is the moment of truce. And this is the moment of truce. So if he stops talking, if he stops talking. Oh, oh. oh my god. Yes. Okay, so now let's use our variable is anim name oh he stopped he shut up let's make him angry Ooh, e ah yeah that's it we're gonna make him pissed okay through here and we can make him pissed so he's gonna go from talking old chocolate soccer cheese to get pissed. Alrighty. Oh, no, no, hey. Oh, I'm pissed. Yeah, he's pissed. Alrighty, guys, that was enough programming for today. Nice little brain massage. Thank you so much. I hope you're not pissed like Agape. I did not think we were gonna get it at that point because there was a lot of complications, but look, Oh, we are controlling it like, oh, yes, I love it. This is modern day Perez. This was a nice picture of the old, and this road went to Athens. That's Athens, the big, Coming to Perez. And it has this like very distinctive circle dock type thing. And the Zia. And yeah, you see? Oh yeah, and this is a like a, a painting of like a Greek festival that's going on. And this is just the types of foods that would be there. Sacrifice a bunch. Oh yeah, I did this in Blender. I did it so I could know the, the lighting but i tried to make the building with this aspect but in top-down pixel art uh 
it's always like straight down. I thought I had a, oh yeah, this was a good picture of Piraeus. So if I make any changes to this, is it gonna reflect? Say if I do this. That's pretty pog. Yes. Oh, copy and paste. Oh, that's better. Even need to do that. I could just flip it in tiled. Yes. Oh my god, I love tiled so much. So here's gonna be Euclid playing in the sand with his circles. Whatever. Here I want there to be like loads of people. Yeah, so there's going to be some ships there, some merchants with crates, no problem, some fishermen. With like music. I know that Socrates is gonna have a quest. I know that Euclid will have like a little thing you can learn. Uh <gasps> what the freak? I'm fine with it. I think we should show it just a little but I'm really fine with it for now. There's actually a really cool podcast that I found. Okay, so we have level design lobby, but there was like open world. Uh, okay, okay, this one. Open world versus linear world. So it's a good way to abstract uh, how to do the, the level design. It's like corridors and then arenas. Um, and you just need to like put points of interest, of course, like in these areas. But then they were talking about Breath of the Wild and how it's like an open world, but they have these shrines. <sighs> yeah, so the shrines are ways that in open world you can get like this linear experience. And I, I, I like, cause I don't want Hypatia to be like so much open world, but I want there to be exploration. What I was thinking is there will be Circle of the Gods because I was thinking of how to lay out the, the map. Like I, we know we will have Piraeus. We know that there will be Athens, and okay, there might be a long road that goes from Piraeus to Athens. But it's like, how do I, how do I have the different god areas? And I was thinking there could be like maybe a bunch of statues of the gods. Maybe they'll just be one available, like Dionysus. So maybe when you start off, all of these are locked. And when you go to the statue and you found the Dionysus statue in the world, you can activate this and then it'll teleport you to an area that's more linear. And that, and that way, like in the meantime, you can do like your different philosopher quests and everything. And you know that this is the main goal of unlocking these statues
Rules of Play expresses the perspective that a theoretical framework for interactive design has not yet been established. This is what I'm trying to address to the world. The book manages to bridge the emerging field of game dev study methodology and design theory. Do you really want a theoretical framework for art? <laughs> yes, because although like you don't need to be bounded by the framework, at least it gives you some structure so that your brain doesn't go too far out. It's gonna work. We'll see. Control shift invert. Oh my god. She's cool. <laughs> You have a problem, not me. Wow! Oh God! Oh Jesus! Ha! Oh. So then you put it in the texture. That's what I needed to know. Oh. Nice. Sphere. Yes. Sphere radius. No. Okay, cool. Of course, I need to add some shadows. And that concludes our stream highlights. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I want to keep you guys updated and make videos that don't kill me, but that I can be consistent with. My dream is to upload at least twice a month and have a day where you guys know I will post. So I'm trying to find that balance. And if you haven't noticed, I've been experimenting with different video formats. Let me know what you guys think. And thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day.